Reuters Evelyn Hochstein, Twitter ISNT shying away from banning more high-profile U.S. politicians. As the New York Times reports, the social network has permanently banned Georgia. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's personal account after a fifth strike for spreading COVID-19 misinformation. Her official account is still active as of this writing because it hasn't run afoul of Twitter's rules. It's not certain what post led to the permanent ban. Twitter spokeswoman Katie Rossborough said only that the company had been clear it would issue permanent suspensions for repeated violations of its COVID-19 misinformation policy. Green had faced an escalating series of bans over her inaccurate claims. She falsely claimed in July that COVID-19 wasn't dangerous unless you were over 65 or obese and in August incorrectly maintained vaccines were failing against the new coronavirus Delta variant. The posts respectively led to 12-hour and one-week suspensions. In a statement, Green said technology companies and Democrats can't stop the truth and accuse Twitter of hypocrisy in dealing with Democrats, calling Twitter an enemy to America. However, she signaled no intentions to challenge the ban and said only we don't need them. The crackdown comes just under a year after Twitter permanently banned former President Trump and reflects the social media giant's less forgiving attitude toward politicians in the past year, it's willing to ban officials for violations rather than apply warning labels and otherwise avoid direct action. And, while a ban targets like Trump can start their own social networks or jump to anything goes alternatives, there's little doubt they'll lose some online influence by getting kicked off mainstream platforms. All products recommended by Engadget are selected by our editorial team independent of our parent company. Some of our stories include affiliate links. If you buy something through one of these links we may earn an affiliate commission.